Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. Today, we're covering one of my favorite features of the Studio One 6 update, which is the brand new vocoder plugin that we now have in Studio One 6. The vocoder is a fascinating device and can be a little bit difficult and tricky to understand, but once you get the hang of it, you get amazing sound design opportunities. And I want to try to explain the vocoder to you first on a pretty basic level, like you can go way into the weeds of formats and bands and resolution and all these things, but that isn't really helpful if you try to understand what a vocoder does at a core level and at a level that's beneficial for your music production specifically. So what is a vocoder and what does it do? To put it simply, the vocoder uses a rhythm and the accentuations of that rhythm, but replaces the sound that the rhythm generates with something else. So for example, my voice, the uh, accentuations, the articulations of my consonants, the formants of my vowels as I'm talking, that could be kept, but the actual tone of my voice could be replaced, for example, with a synthesizer. And the effect would be uh, something like a robot voice that you might know from certain Kraftwerk songs. And maybe that would be a good introduction to the vocoder. So let's take a look. Right here, I have a vocoder and vocals track prepared, but factually that's just an audio track with my microphone set as the input. So if you want to do that on your end, you would just click here inside of the track inspector on a new audio track and then here to set your input. If you don't see your microphone input yet, then you have to go to the audio IO setup right here and make sure that your audio interface is selected. And then you just create a new mono input like this that you assign to the input where you actually connected your microphone with a cable to the audio interface. And then you should be good to follow along. If not, there's also an audio device and interface tutorial that helps you throughout the setup process. I'm going to link that in the top corner for you. All right, so now you have that track set up and set to your microphone as input. We are ready to record. So let me just go ahead and say something like testing one, two, one, two, testing one, two. Here we go. Right. And we can play that back right now. Testing one, two, one, two, testing one, two. Here we go. And now let me just go ahead into the Studio One 6 effects section. So you open up the browser, you go to the effects, and then you should find the vocoder if you scroll down and put that directly onto this audio track by dragging and dropping, like so. Now, a good starting point for the vocoder, if you're trying it out for the very first time, is the Young Robot preset. I really like that. So just click here in the preset manager and go to Young Robot. And this is set in a way that already sounds kind of cool. And the carrier source is currently set to internal. So what does that mean? Internal means that the actual tone of my voice is going to be replaced with the internal synthesizer voice, the oscillator of the vocoder and that's either a noise, sawtooth, or square wave. The vocoder is going to replace the tone of my voice, but keep the rhythm and the accentuations of my speech. So my speech should still be legible. You should still understand what I'm saying. Um, but you will hear that the tone of my voice is actually being replaced with either noise, sawtooth or rectangular wave. Or we could also bring in the sound of another channel. And that's where things get really interesting via sidechain. So that's really where the open endedness of the vocoder starts because any sound could be replaced with another sound while keeping the original rhythm of the first sound. And yeah, that can lead into incredibly musical drums, for instance. There's so many opportunities. I just want to show you a couple of my favorites today. Right now, we just have an audio track. We recorded a microphone on this audio track. And now we're going to listen to the vocoder and what it sounds like when we replace the actual tone the sonic uh, characteristics of the voice with noise instead. That sounds like this. Testing one, two, one, two, testing one, two, here we go. Right. Testing one, two, one, two, testing one, two, here we go. Completely different if you compare it. Testing one, two, one, two to the original, but the speech is still understandable uh, because the rhythm and the transients that trigger the vocoder are still being kept. With a sawtooth, it would sound like this. Testing one, two, and we one, can two, pitch that one, down two. to our liking. Here we go. Testing one, two, one, two, testing and that one, should two. like Here we go. Testing one, two, one, two, give you some heavy craft work vibes already. Testing one, two, one, two, 
uh, he would say something like uh, radioactivity, you know, radioactivity. Radioactivity. And you just uh, throw on a reverb or something like that, like so, just grab the room reverb and add that to the sense portion. Radioactivity. Bum, 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 then you're already pretty much in the craft of vibe. But that's just where the fun starts. Let me show you what else you can do with the vocoder right now. One of my personal favorite ways to use the vocoder is to add a certain rhythm of a sound to another sound that's a bit more static by nature. So in this example, for instance, if we take a look, I have a pad synth that sounds quite static. <laughs> And I'd like to give this pad sound a bit more life by moving it rhythmically using another source. So in this case, I could use this percussion loop here. And in the way I'm intending to use it, you would not hear the actual percussion loop anymore. You would just hear that pad move in the rhythm of that percussion loop. And I know that sounds a little bit confusing at first, but maybe it becomes more clear if I just show you what I mean. So I've just added the vocoder directly with drag and drop onto the percussion track. And when I open this up, then I can decide, like before, what should be the carrier source. So what should be the actual sound source of the vocoder? Before I had my voice and my voice was replaced with that noise generator in here. But I can also replace the sound of the rhythmical source with something that comes in from the outside, like another channel. So in this case, we bring in the pad to the percussion loop to replace the sound of the percussion loop with the pad sound. So what we get in the end is like a rhythmically moving pad that moves in the original rhythm of that percussion loop. And if that doesn't make sense, hopefully it will once you hear the result. We do this via sidechain and this is something you're probably familiar with if you've ever done sidechaining with a kick drum before. Uh, in that case, you would apply the compressor on your bass line and then bring in the kick drum to the bass compressor via sidechain so that the compressor reacts to the kick drum instead of the bass, meaning that every time the kick comes in, the bass reduces in volume, creating that famous ducking effect. We are doing something very similar here. We're bringing in the pad synth through the sidechain of the vocoder to replace the sound of the percussion loop. And in the end, we just end up with the rhythmically modulated pad. And it sounds like this. We just amplify that effect a little bit by raising the volume of the vocoder. Can also work with the modulation envelope. This determines how clearly we hear the separate articulations of the percussion loop inside of the pad. I don't want to get too much into the vocoder nitty gritty, but you can reshape the frequency response of the individual bands by dragging with your mouse across this matrix panel here. And that will of course also change the sound drastically. And if I want to keep some of the original percussion loop, I can always dial back the dry wet knob so that comes back through. Or I can use the unvoiced replacement, the noise generator that's now being triggered by the percussion loop on top of the pad. Hopefully you're getting an idea now what's possible with the vocoder. I mean, I just spent two minutes to build a little arrangement around this pad sound. Take a listen. And if I turn off the vocoder, it kind of falls apart, right? You can always use a rhythmical element with a static element that usually works the best and you keep the rhythm of the uh, rhythmic element while keeping the sonic quality of the static element. And there's so many possible combinations if you think about it. You can combine your voice with a pad from a synthesizer or an organ sound maybe. You could use like a violin maybe together with a hi-hat loop. There's so many different combinations that you can go for. The only limit is your own imagination here. But if you don't want to dive into the side chaining capabilities of the vocoder, you can also use that as a nice alternative to the often quite overused, uh, in my opinion, exciter and saturation effects to create like a fun alternative for your drum loops to beef them up. So in this case, I have a drum mix right here without the vocoder, it sounds like this. And if I were to replace the drum sound with the internal noise source of the vocoder, it would sound like this. 
So you can tell the kick drum disappeared, the hi-hats disappeared, the clap disappeared. Just the original rhythm is still there. But the sound itself was replaced by the vocoder. Now if I use the mix knob here, I can adjust the ratio in which that happens. Right now everything has been replaced by noise, but if I just dial that back a bit, I can layer. And if I set that just right, you can get an incredibly interesting effect. It's almost like a lo-fi reverb or something like that. This is without the vocoder, this is with. So as you can see, there's so many ways you can use the vocoder. You can use it on its own. You can use that in combination with another channel sound. Um, there's so many versatile applications and hopefully you'll find this new plugin in Studio One 6 as exciting as I do. Thank you for watching.